Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 minus 9 is equal to 0. So, I'm going to first start by rewriting x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 times 2. And now, I have this minus 9 is equal to 0. So, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, that's going to equal x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 9 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to rewrite negative 9 here as negative 3 squared. And if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So, in this case, a is equal to x squared, and b is equal to 3. So now I'm going to be left with x squared plus 3 times x squared minus 3 is equal to 0. So now, this is going to give me two equations. I get x squared plus 3 is equal to 0. And I get x squared minus 3 is equal to 0. So for x squared plus 3 equals 0, I can subtract 3 on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to negative 3. And now, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of negative 3, that's going to equal the square root of 3 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So I get x is equal to positive negative square root of 3i. Now for x squared minus 3 equals 0. This is much simpler than the other one. All I have to do is add 3 on both sides. And I get x squared is equal to 3. And now, if I take the square root on both sides, the square root of x squared is x. So I get x is equal to positive or negative square root of 3. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x minus 3 times 16 to the power of x is equal to 64. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 16 as 4 squared. So now I have 4 to the power of x minus 3 times 4 squared to the power of x is equal to 64. And now, because these two have the same bases, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. And 4 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 4 to the power of 2 times x, or 4 to the power of 2x. So I have 4 to the power of x minus 3 plus 2x is equal to 64. And now 64, that's equal to 4 to the power of 3. So now I have 4 to the power of x minus 3 plus 2x is equal to 4 to the power of 3. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x minus 3 plus 2x is equal to 3. So now to simplify this, we just combine like terms. x plus 2x, that's going to be 3x. So I have 3x minus 3 is equal to 3. And now I'm going to add 3 on both sides. So I get 3x is equal to 6. And if I divide both sides by 3, I get x is equal to 6 divided by 3 which is 2.
Alright, so on this problem, I have 7 to the power of x is equal to 7. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by dividing both sides by 7. So then 70 divided by 7 is 10. So I have 7 to the power of x over 7 is equal to 10. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 7 to the power of x over 7, 7 is the same thing as 7 to the power of 1. So I have 7 to the power of x over 7 to the power of 1, and that's going to equal 7 to the power of x minus 7 to the power of 1. Or sorry, 7 to the power of x minus 1, which is equal to 10. Now, I'm going to take the log on both sides, so I get log of 7 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to log of 10. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 7 to the power of x minus 1, and I can move x minus 1 to the front. So now I have x minus 1 times log 7 is equal to log 10. Now we want to isolate x, so I'm going to divide both sides by log 7. So when these two cancel out, and I get x minus 1 is equal to log 10 over log 7. Now log 10, that's the same thing as 1. So I have x minus 1 is equal to 1 over log 7. And now I can add 1 on both sides. So I get x is equal to 1 over log 7 plus 1. Now, log 7, that's equal to 0 0.845. So now I have 1 divided by log 7. And that's going to equal... 1.183. So I have 1.183 plus 1, which is equal to 2.183.